Part 4 X931 Calibration Require tools Laser level, number 13 wrench Socket head wrench Medium size crosshead screwdriver Calibration frame assembly 1. Tighten the height adjustment knob under the holder to the lowest position 2. Move the spacing ring close to the holder and lock it 3. Connect two bearings by the screws in the middle and tighten 4. Place the calibration frame on the runway, just behind the corner plate. Make sure the margins between the bases and the outer edges of the runway on both sides are at equal distances. 5. Place the half-moon joint at both ends close to the calibration bar. Tighten the screws to fix it with half-moon cover and install the fixed pin. 5. Rotate the calibration bar to ensure it can rotate freely. 6. Position the steel bar to align with first diagonal between the scales. And then change to the second diagonal to make sure both diagonals are of the same length. 7. Install two pieces number 5 batteries for the calibration board. And power up. 8. Insert the four calibration boards into the calibration axis. 9. Place them horizontally with the handle upward. 10. Move the lift to the first block. 10. And remove the diagonal bar. 11. Place the electronic level in the rear end of the lift and set to the horizontal mode. 12. Check the scale on the top of the calibration frame. 13. Adjust the swing handle to make sure a laser line striking on each slot. 13. Once the four slots are hit by the laser line at the same time, that means the calibration frame is in the line and then the diagonal rod can be returned to its original position. 14. Align the four measuring units to the center of the calibration board. Switch on calibration board. Calibration Software Preparation 1. First you need to back up the camera index TST file to avoid data loss after calibration failure. 2. Find the calibration exe on the X931 file. Create a desktop shortcut. Open the calibration software and enter the home page. 3. Click camera settings. Set the exposure time to 10 milliseconds from the cameras from number 1 to number 4. 4. Click display camera to check the displaying effect of the eight cameras and also the images of calibration board. Note 1. Check if all the five LED lights are on. 2. Check if all the 11 laser lines are hitting onto the calibration board. 3. Check if all the nine markers are lighting up. 5. Click first measuring to collect the data via the laser lines. When it completes, click OK to move on.
6. Rotate the calibration bar at 90 degrees clockwise with handle pointing backward. 7. Click second measuring to collect data for the second time. Click OK to move on. 8. Rotate the calibration bar at 90 degrees clockwise with a handle pointing down. 9. Click third measuring to collect data for the third time. Click OK to move on. 10. Rotate the calibration bar at 90 degrees clockwise with the handle pointing forward. 11. Click fourth measuring to collect data for the fourth time. Click OK to move on. 12. Click Result Calculation. Press OK to end the calibration. 13. Click Real-Time Measuring to view the real-time data page. Click X on the top right corner to exit the software. 14. Right-click X931 software, open the camera index file, compare it with the previous backup file, camera index. If there is data update in the ninth line, that means the calibration is completed successfully.